My interest has always been to excel uh, in life. I've always had high dreams and aspirations. And so I decided to pursue a graduate education because I always felt like I would be missing out if I didn't do more. Uh, I, I like to compare it. My, my wife and I, we ran a marathon for our first anniversary. Uh, and I joke that we did that because I wanted to set the, the bar really, really low and I could even forget an anniversary and it would be better than running 26.2 miles. Um, but I remember crossing the finish line when I finished that marathon and I said, that was it? Um, and I felt the same way when I finished my undergraduate degree. I, I finish and I go, oh, that was it? Like, there's more, there's gotta be more. Uh, and, and I think that was just an internal drive where I really wanted to pursue the highest knowledge that I could pursue. Um, I always wanted to say, I wanted to become an expert in something uh, and uh, obtaining a graduate degree, finishing a PhD uh, was a way that I feel that that for me was how it was gonna be accomplished. I was gonna become an expert uh, in the Dead Sea Scrolls, in the study of religion, and particularly in the study of biblical texts. And graduate work was an essential component to being able to do that. I chose Florida State University because it's one of only a handful of universities in all of North America where graduate students can work with a world-renowned Dead Sea Scrolls expert. Um, so Professor Matthew Goff here at Florida State um, is renowned uh, throughout the whole Dead Sea Scrolls community as an expert in the scrolls. Uh, and so uh, having that opportunity to learn from him is what originally uh, drew me to Florida State University. My passion, I love teaching. I love sharing knowledge. Uh, the, the biggest thing that I want to do post-graduate school is share the knowledge that I've gained with others and continue to accumulate knowledge. Uh, so whether that's uh, through writing, uh, being able to, to publish articles and books and, and research, uh, whether that's in the classroom by lecturing and, and telling um, and relaying information and communicating with students about things that are of interest to them, or if it is um, in meeting with students and helping them find their passion. It's, it's just exciting for me to, to share knowledge, to share experience. So the accomplishment that I'm most proud of at this point as a graduate student uh, is the fact that uh, I was able to reach my goal of being able to live in, in uh, Israel and Palestine for a year. Uh, I looked at mentors who uh, had succeeded in the field of Dead Sea Scrolls research. And the three things I found in all of them is that they worked with the previous generation of great Dead Sea Scrolls scholars. They went to, the, uh, to Israel and Palestine and worked on the actual Dead Sea Scrolls manuscripts. And they were successful in publishing on the Dead Sea Scrolls as graduate students. And so as I looked at those mentors, I said, I need to follow those same steps. Uh, I've been able to accomplish all three of those, those marks as a graduate student. The advice uh, that I would give to anyone who is exploring graduate school or uh, doing a graduate degree is the very first thing is, is don't do it if you think that this is something that's leading to something else. Um, do it because it's something that you're passionate about. Uh, graduate school is hard enough as it is um, and thinking, oh, I'm going to get into graduate school because it's going to inevitably lead to job X or job Y. Um, that, that may be enough motivation for some people. For me, that was never it. The, the best advice I say to people is, is if you're really passionate about this stuff, if you really want to become an expert in it, do it. But don't do it because you want to get a job. My wife, I originally was a chemistry undergraduate student. Uh, and my wife uh, constantly was saying to me, Josh, why are you so miserable studying chemistry? <laughs> Uh, and I said, well, I have this career plan and the only way that I'll provide for our family and be as successful in life is if I follow the trajectory that I thought I had. Uh, and in an amazing way, my wife sat me down and she said, I would rather be married to someone who is doing something that they're passionate about and have less money and less, less security financially than someone who's super financially secure but miserable every day. Um, and so she really um, sat me down and looked me in the eye and said, Josh, be, do what you're passionate about. Um, and she was the one who set me on the career path. Uh, and from there, I've had so many advisors and mentors um, that have come along the way that have, have guided me to, to where I'm at. Uh, but the, the, the impetus of all of that was my wife. 
uh, and the fact that she was willing to say, hey, we're on this, to, this journey together. Um, I owe so much to her for that. Um, and her support of uh, all these years of being a student uh, and uh, constantly striving for these goals. Uh, she's been there the whole time. And so uh, her support, uh, I could not have done any of this without her.